Simple rotors are the exponentials of simple bivectors and are always the sum of a scalar part and a bivector part. The scalar part is always a cosine, a hyperbolic cosine, or one, and the bivector part is always a sine, a hyperbolic sine, or the original bivector. We can talk about these cases all at once by defining a generalized cosine and a generalized sine as the scalar and bivector parts of the rotor respectively. Using this language, we can also define a generalized tangent as their quotient. One interesting thing you can do with this idea is to take a rotor and factor out the generalized cosine. Because the generalized cosine is a scalar, this shows that 1 plus the generalized tangent is a scalar multiple of the rotor. Because all rotors are normalized, this allows you to find the rotor by finding the generalized tangent, adding 1 to it, and then normalizing. It's sometimes easier to find the generalized tangent than the rotor itself, so this could be an alternative way to find a rotor.